Now, government has fought off claims by the minority in parliament that it is giving Ghanaians false hope that the coronavirus situation in the country is under control. Deputy Information Minister Pius Enam Hajide says government's approach has so far been effective and successful. Minority leader Harun Idrisu yesterday said government is engaged in public relations gimmick to create a false sense of security, which is not the reality on the ground. Mr. Hajide says this view is misinformed, and he maintains there is no evidence backing the claims made by the minority. It's termed worsening COVID-19 situation and the national response. Clearly, the NDC minority was merely invited to offer cover to the flag bearer of the NDC, who has been badly bruised by the politicization of the COVID-19 pandemic started by himself. The misinformation, deliberate distortions, and warped analysis put out by the NDC flag bearer had been bemoaned and roundly condemned by many well-meaning Ghanaians. Just days ago, the presidential candidate of the NDC, Mr. John Mahama, in one of his COVID-19 political broadcasts on Facebook, embarrassed himself by ignorantly questioning why the government had accessed an IMF facility, claiming that no other African country had done so, an outright fabrication from a man who had occupied the high office of president a few years ago. 20 other African countries, including all the ones Mahama specifically listed, have assessed the IMF facility of $18 billion for African countries to help cushion them through the crisis. Indeed, the facility is interest-free and without the suffocating conditionalities that the IMF imposed on Ghana when forced by a toxic mixture of incompetence and insensitivity, Mr. Mahama and the NDC went to the IMF for a bailout and policy credibility. It is clear that the NDC minority was only called in to do damage control. Whilst it may be ordinary, Whilst it may ordinarily be a good thing for the NDC minority to have found their bearing and a voice several weeks after Ghana started confronting and containing the COVID-19 pandemic, it is pathetic that even upon hindsight, the minority is still unable to offer any pragmatic alternatives, but merely rehash those same lame queries that Mr. Mahama has asked during his political broadcasts on Facebook.